So it had been pretty stormy for quite a few days and I was really excited to get out on the beach right after a storm. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to head over to Sanibel and do a little uh, shelling right after a storm. Welcome to SWF Beach Life. I do all things beach, things beach related, and if you like that, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you know when I drop a new video. So here we are, we're headed over the Sanibel Causeway and it is still raining. So we figured I was not kidding around. I wanted to be on that beach as soon as it stopped storming. So we sat in the parking lot for a minute Actually, it was a little bit longer than a minute, and this is what we were waiting for. So I had my weather app and just waiting for those storms to blow through. And once that happened, we got out. We are at Gulfside City Park Beach. This is on Sanibel. And they have this great uh, sign here, and it showed you all the different shells that you might find on the beach, which was really cool and informative. So if you didn't really know what you found, you would at least be able to refer to this fine sign and see what kind of treasures that you found on the beach and apparently they are very serious about not drinking on the beach $500 fine not seen one of these signs before so I don't know if people have been acting up this is where we were at that red dot is where we parked there was a bunch of different access points this beach was five dollars an hour so we put our money in for two hours and we scurried out there, did our thing and wanted to make sure we got back so we didn't get any kind of fines or anything. It's quite a bit of parking. You see there isn't many people there because it literally had just stopped raining. They do have outdoor showers and restroom facilities at this beach and it is not a very far walk from where you park. Getting onto the physical beach itself is not far at all. Just a quick little walk through this lovely little shell walkway. That is my recycled shells. I had a bunch of Florida Fighting Conch that I didn't want to hold on to, so I put them at the beach. And it had just stopped raining. Look at that surf. It was windy, it was warm, but that water was definitely rough. So we took a look around and decided we were gonna go to the left which isn't technically south because of the way the island is situated. So we got off onto the beach and started walking to the left, hoping to find some goodies. So there was, you know, as you can see, there's a little bit of stuff on the beach. Kind of really hoping I was going to find one of those like big old massive horse conks, you know, or maybe a big old lightning whelk. Not so much. I found this little lightning whelk though. He was just kind of sitting there. Say, so, okay, that was, that's a good start, right? So there, like I said, there is definitely shells on the beach. Not so much in the way of keepers quite yet. Found these lovely scallops. I always depend on those scallops. And here in that seagrass that was washed out, we have another one. That's a pretty guy. Nice design. What do we got here? Another little scallop. Little pink guy. And here we have what looks like a docina and two parts, the two halves, so I decided I was going to keep that. Here we have what would have been a tulip, or I guess technically it is still a tulip, but not much of it. <laughs> and there we have another scallop. And this guy's got a barnacle on it. I don't usually collect shells of barnacles, but I thought that was pretty. Hmm. And we have some turtle nests. Um, not great for it to be in the water. Not necessarily, you know, a bad thing, but not great. Bummer. Just a piece of a banded tulip. It tricked me. We have a little kitten's paw. And we have another little, a little calico scallop. So we weren't really finding much. So we decided to turn around and try our luck heading back up the beach. Well, there's things here and there, but we're looking for that good stuff. Aw, that would have been a good one, but it's broken. Check these guys out. These are frigate birds. I only see these when it's like really, really windy and it's like they're 
just like playing. They're out and they're, they're not even giving any effort. They're just kind of like sailing around. I think they're really cool. Here we have a Florida fighting conch, a big old healthy one, right? Oh, that would have been cool. I am guessing that that is a piece of a horse conch. It's the spiral. If I had to guess, that's what I'm thinking that was. One day I'll find one. Nice big old horse conch. Oh, look at this, goggles. So hey, if you lost your goggles, let me know. In the meantime, I'll probably just hold on to those. Here we have a pen shell. These are very unremarkable in my opinion, but I love that iridescent color. So you have this like weird kind of boring shell, but with this beautiful coloring on it. Here we have another piece of a pen shell. Isn't that pretty? And that is a tulip egg casing. So your tulip snail would lay eggs that look something like that. Nobody's, nobody's in there, that's just the casing. I found some more scallops. That's a nice guy. I like when they're bumpy. They have that big convex shape to them. Here we have some more. They're a little beat up, but it looks like it's gonna be a slim day for shells, so I'll probably pick up more than I usually do. Look at this guy. That's a moon snail or a shark eye. Yeah, he's in great shape. Let's clean him up and take a better look. Oh yeah, he was cool. I was very happy with that guy. And apparently I found some more scallops and more scallops. Looks like the same color shells are hanging out with each other. So we were mostly on the beach. Going into the water on this particular day wasn't so much of an option. You'll see that there's, see those little pieces of shells and things there, but if I wanted to kind of get in there and look around, it wasn't really gonna be possible. Here we have another pretty one, another pretty scallop with some barnacles on it. I'm gonna keep that. A little juvenile Florida fighting conch. A little turban. He's a little beat up, but that's all right. Cute little guy. And this just very yellow shell. I like all the different colors. That's probably discolored from something, but this I actually thought was garbage. It was so bright and I went down and <gasps> there was this really awesome orange shell. I love that orange. Oh, he's cool. Beautiful color. And it looks like a piece of a sand dollar. And I didn't know what that was. Nothing very interesting. Just a little piece of a gray shell. But here we have, again, a piece of, and it looks like that's gonna be an apple murex. And that was a pretty shell, that pink one. This guy too. It's a little chipped, but it's a slow day. He's pretty. And another sand dollar piece. That would have been a good one. And more, oh, that one's super pretty. That's the calico scallop, that one's very pretty. And another barnacle scallop. And a calico clam, those are fun. That's also a calico scallop. Oh, and a little baby lightning whelk. Hey, fella. Oh, that's, those are some lovely examples of calico scallops. Look at the coloring on that. I know it's broken, but oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, it was a day of colors. Like this, this yellow colored shell. And it looks like another docenia. It's kind of discolored. It's got that yellow going on too. It'd be good to paint. Good for a craft, right? Look at the markings on him. Look, almost looks like a poinsettia or something on the bottom. Oh, I just thought that was really neat. And this little pretty pink scallop. That was a piece of a horse conch. 
Not a full one. Yet again, just a piece. Put some barnacles. But that would have been a whopper, huh? And that one is very pretty. Hello, scallop. And yet another scallop. He's got some holes, but again, a little bit of a slow day. Check this out. This is a kitten paw, but it's all white. It's kind of unusual. And that, I believe, was probably a crown conch based on the coloring I'm seeing on the top of that. Kind of neat. And a Florida fighting conch. I always depend on those guys. And a kitten paw. This time this guy has the color. Not to be confused with this kitten paw that has almost no color. So we decided it was kind of slow and we went off and decided to go to a different beach and finish our shelling because we didn't feel like we really got enough. So we headed up to Turner Beach and it was pretty stormy up there too. Still had that waves and water coming in. But guys, in two seconds we were there. This is what my husband picked up in the parking lot. So next week, I'm going to show you all the goodies we found on that particular beach excursion. Thank you as always for watching. You guys are awesome. If you haven't done it yet, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my beachy goodness.